just some running drills that you could be doing at home uh, to make your run faster, more powerful down the vault runway so you can get a stronger vault. All right, so the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna start off extremely basic. We are going to go over arms, okay? So arm movements, you're gonna go what I call cheek to cheek, okay? So arms are bent, your elbows stay bent, do not let it go behind you nice, well, well not nice, straight. You don't want it straight in the back, you wanna lift, be lifting in your elbow. So you go cheek to cheek, cheek to cheek. You can also be doing this with flat hands, okay? Chopping your lettuce. But you don't want short chops. You want big. Okay? Those are your arms. Wave of life. <laughs> Those are your arm movements. Okay? Lifting your elbow in the back. Then, we're going to move on to our feet. A lot of gymnasts will run heel toe. That's going to cause shin splint issues, um, pain in your feet, ankle, shins, the whole nine. So starting off young with learning how to run is extremely beneficial. So for this one, you want to be running on your toes. Quick, fast toe movements, what I always say is your toes and the ball of your foot is your spring. Okay, that is your human spring. That's what I say in tumbling as well. These are your springs, quick punches off of the floor where your heels are not banging into the floor. So, really simple, on your toes, on your releve, you're going to be doing marches with knees up. So you're simulating a knees up run, but it's slow, okay? When I say slow, I mean the run is slow. You still, you still have quick, sharp movements, okay? So it goes knee up, knee up, knee up, knee up, all the way down, okay? Fast version of that quick knees up running. Again, watch how I stay on my toes. I quick on my feet and my toe gets pointed down to the floor. Okay, so quick, quick, quick. All the way down. Quick knees up. Not necessarily how fast you can run, but how quick you need to get your feet up and knees up off the floor. Okay, one more time. Knees up. Good. All right, you can be doing these with me as well. Uh, these ones aren't really for numbers. More of my conditioning videos. Um, in the past, I'll just say, okay, do this many numbers. You can pause the video, do that amount, and then move on with me. Um, next one, you can do butt kickers or heels up. This is the slow version. Again, making sure when you're running, you're doing opposite arm, opposite leg. So keep the knee up one, toe to, or toe, heel to bum. But you're still pointing your toes behind you. You should still be on your toes, all right? will be the quick one of uh, butt fingers or heels up, okay? Touching. We're getting really, really close to your butt. Again, that one's not a sprint. You're not running as fast as you can. You're just getting those feet up off the floor quick, feel to your butt. Feeling it in your hamstring, use that muscle to pull. Okay? Next one, we got deer runs. Now for little ones, I'll explain it as giant steps, you're just taking jumbo steps, but for the more advanced or intermediate levels, deer runs. You're lifting your knee in the front, toe pointed down to the floor again, not back like hips behind you nice and straight and pointing. Okay, so it should look like this, I'm backing up, so you'll be able to see. Okay, nice, long running steps, kicking our back leg up. Now, a lot of times you'll get a really nice good leg one, and then the back leg one will look really tiny. <laughs> so you wanna try and make sure that they're even. Next is your arm circle punched back. Okay, you can be doing these down the runway. This is not necessarily for running, but just being quick off of your feet for your board entry. So for me, I start with my right foot in front. I personally don't care what foot you hurdle off of as long as it's the same foot every single time. So a lot of times they'll say, okay, you hurdle off of your bad leg, so you can kick your good one forward. I personally, as a righty, I like to hurdle off of my right foot. Same for my tumbling, so on and so forth. Like front tumbling, I'll hurdle off of my right foot and front tuck. 
okay? So as long as you are consistent across the board on what leg you're going to use, great, okay? Don't switch it up. So here I'm starting with my arms placed in front of me, straight front leg, and I'm going to be again, click off my toes. I go arm circle, I'll do a slow version first, arm circle, backwards they circle, backwards, thumbs to bum. And again, this would not be on bent knees, but I am stopped to show you the parts of the jump. And then back. Okay? You want to shove your feet in front. Okay? Circle in front. As you can see, that one did not have bent knees. It was straight. It's a punch. The difference between a punch and a jump, punches have straight legs, push, and point. Okay? Jumps go bend, push. Understand the difference now? Not a punch like this. Okay, gymnastics punches are through our toes, through our feet only, excuse me, our knees. Okay, one last time, hands are in front. I go circle, getting my feet in front of me, and push. The importance of that is to get into this position where your shoulders are behind your toes. Okay, onto the board, meaning back, and straight body. All right, next we have our sprints, that is just running as fast as you can. I am not gonna show you a sprint. That would just be kind of odd of me running straight across. You already know what running as fast as you can looks like. Um, just make sure you're on your toes and you don't do this with your arm when you're running. Okay, keep it bent, lifting in your elbow, quick arm movements. Some drills that you can do though um, for that, you can get them now. There's one over here, I'll be right back. handstand, locking it out, shrugging at the top. We've, we've gone over shrugs before, okay? Making sure that there's no room in between those shoulders, all right? Another vaulting drill that you could be doing at home, I'm gonna move you over here now, all right? Here's my little wall. We're gonna be working on shrugs together, okay? So, I've talked about belly to the wall handstands before, but I don't think we on over it as a group. So you're gonna walk those feet up into a nice shrugged position and I'll show you those quick shrug movements that you can be working. Notice how I didn't change my body shape. I didn't bend my elbows. I just did quick shoulder movements, okay? Next, you can be doing handstand pops. We have talked about this before, um, but I just wanna show it again, just to make sure that it's all in the same video for you guys. Okay, those same shoulder shrugs can be used in a different way, in a quicker motion. Um, I'm kinda like half on, half off the floor right now, but I'll just do a simple one. 
okay? Arms circle into it, reach and block. Circle. Okay, I did not bend my arms. I didn't change my body shape. I just drove my heel up and pop, pop, pop. All right. So those are some different things that you can be doing at home for your vault drills. And the beginning of this was for your running drills to get more power. Um, if you need some more power and strength in those legs, go ahead and check out my other video of lower body exercises that you can be doing at home. Thanks guys. Bye.